we choose to keep you properly entertained. Now, um, you know, it isn't easy breaking into any industry at all. You know, you always feel as though I have so much talent, but I just can't catch a break. And it's extremely difficult, especially in the entertainment industry, to stand out where everybody believes that they have different levels of talent. Everybody thinks they deserve to be at the top, but not everybody is willing to put in the work. My guest today is a young lady who has definitely made sure she starts to put in that work. And she's not just doing one thing. She's doing multiple things. She's juggling those talents around like they ain't a thing, okay? She's making it look like it's a walk in the park. Kimberly Makumbe, Kim, welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. So, singer, songwriter, mm -hmm. actor, voiceover artist, um, copywriter, mod. How do you balance <laughs> it all? Well, you know, I, I strongly believe that when God gives you a gift or multiple gifts in this case, he also gives you the ability to make them work. So, yeah, it works. Mm, okay, <laughs> it works. all right. Now, how did, you, how did you find yourself in the entertainment space? So where did this all start? All right, so I've always loved singing. Funny enough, I actually wanted to be a child superstar before grade seven, but mom was like, mm -mm, girl, <laughs> too early. Right. But uh, officially, I started in 2019. Mm -hmm. uh, my career actually started on Tinder, funny enough. On Tinder? Uh, Whoa. Yeah, story on for Tinder. another day. No, no, no. Uh, on Tinder. What happened on Tinder? Um, let's just say I met someone who was also in love with music, and then we exchanged uh, music, and then the career started. So you all have, have a musical affair. We could say that, but the details will be in a book. Just pray I write a book. <laughs> but yeah, so it's okay. been, uh, I started professionally in 2019, although I was just doing one song per year. Mm -hmm. And then now I rebranded in 2021, working with a brand new team, and it's been fireworks since. Mm. Okay, so um, you, you're talking about working with a whole new team. Yeah. Um, how did you get this team together? Like, what was the process of putting together this team? All right. So actually, it was uh, it was knocking doors, really. Mm. Um, and when something is meant to happen, it always does. So I met uh, with someone, and then they linked me up, and then they linked me up. Mm. So um, now I'm working with a record label in the UK called Clue Music. It's a okay. Zimbabwean uh, record label based in the UK. Right. So yeah, we've been this with us, my management team, and um, also some local producers. Uh, it's been fun times all the way. Mm, okay. Mm. All right. So initially, so you've talked about it, it was one song a year, one song a year. Mm -hmm. um, if, in terms of consistency, that's not really great. No, it isn't. Um, but what was the challenge? Why, why, were you, why were you only doing one song a year? All right. So when I got into the industry, I had a full understanding that... Um, it takes teamwork to make the dream work. Mm. So I had been working with uh, the first team I worked with. I did one song with, with visuals. And then um, at some point I felt I needed to take a break because the pressure was real. Mm. And I was um, relatively young. Right. <laughs> so I decided to just step back a bit, find myself. And then I got back into it. Um, I got signed to a label in Ireland um, whilst being here in Zim and then that didn't work out too well I did two songs with that and then stepped back so now when I found the dream team <laughs> I would like to call them that's when I, I rebranded and then started to actually take things a bit further mm, okay mm -hmm. now um, you know we're talking about uh, the musical side of things but and it does take center stage but that's not the only thing that you do yeah. so how have you gone about you know also making sure that all these other gifts that you have are also um, catered to and are part of the full circle of who you are. All right. So uh, the easiest thing is to do is to just, um, I knew music was the one. Mm. It was the door opener. Mm. So I started working on my craft that way, and then that opened doors to everything else. Mm. So when someone sees you in a music video, they're like, wow, I think you can do acting. Here's a plug. Mm. Or you could you can do a little bit of modeling, or you can do voiceover acting and things like that. So that's been, that's how it literally started. But music has definitely been the center of it all. Mm. Now, the industry in itself is very cluttered. Mm. Uh, it's, it's not an easy industry, especially um, at a time where we have a lot of people who are like, no, in Dogonam, in Dogonam modline and the best modline in the world you mm. know how have you made sure that you stand out um, and you you are different from everybody else that's already in the industry okay well it's it's actually a lot of teamwork, a lot of curation, um, just looking at studying the industry and seeing, okay, with who I am, staying true to my identity, mm -hmm. what uh, 
angle should I come into this whole thing with? So it's just a matter of just being true to myself as much as possible. And we all have like our own unique identity. So once you follow that, there's no going wrong. What is the future for Kim? Gosh, it's bright. You need sunglasses. <laughs> Well, we we're talking um, singles for now. Mm -hmm. Definitely, I have a very big project coming up, um, which is basically about women empowerment. Mm -hmm. But uh, definitely singles, great visuals, and then an EP, then an album, then awards, then traveling, then big stuff. You have quite a lot planned. <laughs> now, you know, draw this for me. Is this all these things? Are they a one-year plan? Are they a five-year plan? Like. How, how are we stretching this out? All right, so uh, we have a one-year plan for maybe the singles and the first album, mm -hmm. and then five-year plan for just basically making as much of a mark on the international stage as possible, even within Zim. So okay. we're taking it to the world, guys. <laughs> why do you think it's important to actually plan out? That's why I was asking you, is it, is it, you know, is it in stages? How is it, why do you think it's important to actually be planning out your work as you go along? Success is intentional, hey? Um, from all of the experiences I've seen and the people I've talked to, people I've met, success is definitely intentional. Mm. So when you see someone doing it big or someone you admire, they probably thought about it at some point and decided that that's what they wanted to do. So, yeah, the dream works, definitely. All right. Now, Kim, um, we are going to play out with uh, one of your tracks. Just mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about it. All right. So Time is uh, the first song I did after I rebranded. Mm. So it's a just a hustler's anthem to say, you know what, I've been working and I believe that my time is now. Mm. So, yeah, it's Kim, time. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me.